This video is all about income and how to create a new income data metric into an entry assessment. So if a client is first in the system and first in your project and they have no past income data sets, you're gonna go ahead and recognize there's three parts to income data entry. One is a yes, no question of whether or not they have income from any source. The second is the monthly income sub-assessment, which talks about sources of income and amounts. And then there's a total monthly income box as well. So if a, this is for if a client has multiple income sources, you'll add up those income sources and put a total for their monthly income um, that they obtain. So the first question is a dropdown has a yes, no selection. Client doesn't know, prefers not to enter or data not collected. So hopefully the client has revealed if they do have an income source and you can put yes or no. And then you're gonna to go to the HUD verification sub-assessment. If you click on the words HUD verification, you'll have a record set that auto-populates. It has a variety of different income sources to choose from. Make sure you choose the one that best fits this client's income source. The best way to answer all of these questions is to click the no button at the top. It'll automatically populate no for every income source. And then you can move the no to a yes for the income sources that the client identifies. So earned income, child support, alimony, uh, general assistance is for single individuals who receive public assistance or if it's TANF through the county, um, et cetera. So you're going to choose, if you do choose an income source, they do have an identified income, you're going to put the total monthly amount that they receive for that income source. So it could be, and you don't have to be exact. I strongly recommend not using decimal points. The system really doesn't use, like decimal points. So just kind of round it up to the nearest dollar. And again, if you have a client that has an hourly wage and it fluctuates here and there, just ask for a rough estimate about their monthly income source. It'll automatically say yes, because you did say that they are receiving an income source. The start date will auto populate with today's date. Again, the start date and end dates is really just a snapshot. It's just saying on this date, we have identified that this individual has an income source and this is the amount. You don't have to backdate this to the first day that they start work, worked at their job are working at their job, which was six months ago, just leave it as today's date, the date that you're doing the assessment for, and you're going to save. Again, then you'll see that there is a record that has been saved that yes, they have an income source, but to save all of these no's, you're gonna click save and exit. Then you'll see the sub-assessment for total monthly income. You have a green check mark, and this has been confirmed to be completed. And the last thing you have to do is fill in the total monthly income for this individual, all income sources must go on the adult uh, on adult only assessment forms. Make sure that if each individual adult in the household, if there's more than one has income, you're entering those income sources on each person's. You're not gonna put everyone's income on one person's assessment. It, it really is for the individual themselves. Then you're going to put the total monthly income, scroll down to the bottom of the assessment and save and exit. 